The Candy Isle by Opinionated IMO My family and I were on a long trip to sightsee and explore. In the cramped quarters of our vehicle, tempers flared and patience from everyone began to wear thin. That was especially true for the little ones in the back who failed to grasp the ultimate point of a vacation. We wanted to relax and do things at a leisurely, efficient pace. They, on the other hand, have few life experiences and are intrigued by every diversion and minor tourist trap along the way. Frustration grew from all corners. There was no point in trying to reason with them. They couldn't grasp the benefit of eschewing insignificant attractions and aiming for greater things. They don't have the frame of reference necessary to compare them, so I reminded myself of that reality. It's all exciting and new in their minds, but we really didn't have the time to sate their endless curiosity. Their mother pointed out that it had been a while since we had anything to eat. It's a well-known fact that hunger and low blood sugar drives impatience and temper tantrums. I knew she was probably correct about their unrelenting complaints and disruptive behavior, but I still didn't want to stop. We were getting close to an important destination, and stopping then would interfere with the schedule I was trying to keep. Then she reminded me that my own adherence to a trip schedule to see the attraction I really wanted to visit was not indicative of a family claiming to travel at a leisurely pace. She had me there. Leave it to the other half to point out my hypocrisy. I gave her the look. You know the one. I had to admit I was pretty hungry too. The problem was, there were no worthwhile establishments around us. The area was pretty desolate. No real choices. Against my better judgment, I stopped at a place where they could just get a snack to tide them over. Then I got a menacing look of disgust. I grinned at the fitting comeuppance. It was her idea in the first place that they were misbehaving because they were hungry. Problem solved, right? My poison solution was malicious compliance at its finest. She definitely didn't want them to fill up with junk food, but what else could we do at that point? The only option around was something fattening and unhealthy from the candy aisle. She started to protest or argue, but eventually let it go. It was rare, but I'd finally won one for a change. The kids shrieked in excitement from the back as I pulled into the place. Their mother would have to deal with the brunt of their sugar-fueled hyperactivity until we reached our final destination. That'll teach her to take jabs at my flaws. After entering the atmosphere of the bluish-green junk food planet, I lowered the ship down to the surface and found the best spot for the candy aisle. The primitive species that live there call it Earth. They can call it whatever they wish as long as they don't fight back or complain too much when we eat them. I just wanted to get back to our vacation. The kids asked me to use the tractor beam and bring some of the food up to us, but I sent them down to get their own snacks. They could use the exercise.